because you've been tracking crowdfunding for so long, because you've supported so many other campaigns, you know, so you've seen how other people have done it, um, in your observation and experience now that you're in the midst of your own campaign, um, is crowdfunding getting more difficult? I think it's I think it's possible to raise more money more easily um, if you're able to execute correctly. Um, I don't think you can just throw something up anymore and, and expect it um, to get funded at, at any level. Um, I think there are more and more. I, I think the the challenge is that there's a lot. There's a lot more really good projects out going on at the same time. Before it used to be like, oh, here's this really cool one. And then a couple months later, oh, here's another cool one. Now there's like five amazing ones happening at the same time. And you know, it's getting, it's getting very crowded with that. So you have to, you have to be really creative and, and you have to, you know, have something that, that people want to, want to be a part of. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think in some ways it's kind of, it's, grown proportionally, you know, where, you know, he said, yeah, it's getting crowded, but that also means more people are looking at it. There's a lot more people like, you know, a year or two ago, you would mention Kickstarter to somebody who, you know, wasn't in the film industry or anything. And they're like, I, I don't know what that is. And then you'd have to explain it to them. And now I find myself talking to people and they know exactly what that is, or at least they've heard something about it and maybe they haven't checked it out, but they kind of have an idea of what it is. So there are more people looking at it and you see a lot more big projects now too, like, you know, $2 million projects or things that are making like a lot and and they're actually doing it whereas you know a year ago somebody raising 50,000 was like well that's that's an insurmountable amount but now you do see it happening so I think I think yeah it has gotten more crowded for sure but there are also just more people out there looking at it and willing to contribute so I think you know it's just as difficult <laughs> regardless of how much you're raising it you know and it's just having that plan and reaching those people yeah I think it, it's always been something that's difficult um, but now you you really have to you really have to be able to execute a, a great a great game plan and have a, bring a lot of creativity to it um, to be successful so, so now that you're doing this now that you've taken the plunge what, what are you learning about crowdfunding and beyond that, what are you learning about shoots? What are you learning about your own project by, by, by taking the plunge and, 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 and diving into the crowdfunding landscape? <laughs> I, I think, well, uh, we, we learn to, to narrow down our message for sure. And, um, you know, we, we, we learned that. We learned that you can't do, you can't do post and crowdfunding at the same time. Um, we definitely learned that lesson because we wanted to get our two new episodes out, um, you know, as an aspect, uh, as a selling point during the campaign, and uh, we're only we're going to make one of those, and um, you know, that's still a lot of effort to, to get that one uh, released, uh, let alone uh, two, uh, two, one and two weeks early. It, it definitely has, you know, been been difficult. Obviously, and like he said, you know, narrowing down our message and then, you know, doing the post, and I think. We, we, we knew that going in, you know, like, okay, we should have every single thing ready. And so, but, you know, we had a plan also. So we thought, okay, well, this is the schedule for how we're going to keep that, even though, you know, ideally, yeah, you would. But I mean, the reality of something being ideal is that it's an ideal and you can't always do that. I mean, we could spend the next six months, the next year planning for it and then, and then still have like an end result that doesn't work. So, I mean, is it worth that time or do you just take that, that jump and do it and, you know, there's like the quote by Ray Bradbury that I like a lot where, you know, build, you know, jump off the cliff and build your wings on the way down. And I think with something like this, I mean, you, you have to, you kind of just have to jump in and like, okay, so you fail, you fail, you move on and you learn. Like, that's all that you can do. You can't just, <laughs> you can't just sit there and, you know, bemoan that. I, you have to, you have to move on. And, and, you know, I, I think back to the previous question where, you know, is it becoming harder or easier? I think maybe there are people who are doing it a second time. They're going for it again after having failed or they're going for it with a different project and you know, whether they were successful or, or failed the first time. And, and I think that's something that has become more acceptable recently where it's not a one shot deal anymore. I think, I, I think one thing that, that I've learned is, is, is the, that momentum aspect. Um, like, you know, the moment, the moment you, you, you can't take a break, the moment you stop, is the moment your campaign goes back to like a noise level of zero. And if you want it to hit that wave, it, it, you've got to get to that 100 and you only get that by continuing to push. The, the moment you stop, you, 
your, your momentum goes to zero um, yeah. out, outside to, to yeah. that audience. And, and one of the things that we can, kind of had agreed to from the very beginning was like, like we weren't going to cancel the campaign no matter what. Like we were going to see it out through the end and and take it for what it was, you know, like win or lose, because this is an experience that you haven't, and we've seen people cancel them before, and we just knew that that wasn't, that wasn't our path. Like, like you fail, but you fail gloriously if you're gonna <laughs> fail. You know, and you go out fighting, and, and that's what we're doing still now, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're six days away, and we still have a very high mountain to climb, but, I mean, we're climbing it, and, uh, you know, we'll see what's on the other end of it, but yeah. you know that I don't, I don't, I don't see any value in giving up. Like you don't, you don't learn from that. You don't get that full experience of like what did we do wrong. If halfway through you're like this isn't working, like yeah, <laughs> we'll yeah. keep pushing. Yeah, no, I was. That's what I was going to touch on next. You know, because I find it very admirable that because um, generally, especially with Kickstarter, um, you know, once. If you're coming down to your final week, and if you're not over that 20% threshold, and I'm just, I'm just using that because you guys yep. are, you know, you guys are above 10%. I think it's less than 20%. Mm -hmm. though, so yep. you're kind of in that range. Yep. Um, but generally, people have long given up, and, and you two have decided, you know what, we're not going to give up. We're going to push this all the way through. And I think there's there's so many lessons that continue you can continue to be gained and, and learn from yep. in this final week. Tell us about the spirit of, of, of not giving up and, and seeing this through and, 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 and why that decision is so important to you guys. Yeah, I think when we went into it, um, we, we, we knew we were setting an amount that was at the far, at the far end of what we knew uh, was feasible given our resources, uh, given our, our, our time. Um, but... Um, I, uh, like, I, it's just, no, our, our personality for both of us, and I think this is why like, we work so good so well together sometimes is like we're both incredibly ambitious and and we think we're more human than we actually are sometimes where it's just like like we try going for things that are that are really really big and it's just in both of our natures and you know it it, it comes from I guess our background too where like we're both the first in our family to go to college and you know like like we have that spirit of pushing through and pushing through and pushing through all the time no matter what against all odds sorry um, and I think you know, filmmaking is no different than that where like you just have to believe and you have to do it and you have to fail a lot and get over it and get back up and do it again. Like that's all you can do. And that's what we've always done our entire life. Just you, you go for it. Um, so it wouldn't be any different with this. I mean, it's the same spirit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>